The White House is pushing back on a Texas ban on vaccine mandates. The Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed an executive order just yesterday blocking any entity from mandating vaccines. That means private businesses can't require their workers and customers to be vaccinated. The White House calling the move political. I think it's pretty clear when you make a choice that's against all public health information and data out there uh, that you, it's not based on what is in the interest of the people you are governing. Uh, it's perhaps uh, in the interest of your own politics. President Biden has been pushing businesses across the country to require vaccinations for workers. Governor Abbott in Texas accused the administration of bullying private companies into those mandates. CNBC's Seema Modi is here. Seema, what happens now? Jeff, the focus now turns to the major corporations that are based in Texas, like Oracle and Dell, that are headquartered in Texas, to see what they will do next. Now, despite the governor's ruling, both American Airlines and Southwest say they will continue to request their employees to be vaccinated. American Air spokesperson says, quote, we believe the federal vaccine mandate supersedes any conflicting state laws, and this does not change anything for American. Now, experts say businesses could pursue legal action in Florida, where vaccine mandates are also banned, Norwegian Cruise Line CEO Frank Del Rio launched a lawsuit against the state in July. The legal fight put Del Rio against Governor Ron DeSantis, a rising Republican star. Del Rio's argument? It's not safe to cruise without requiring all crew and passengers to be vaccinated. A federal judge bought it and granted the cruise line a preliminary court injunction. We felt a, a sincere obligation to protect our, our guests, our crew, the communities we visit. We're in the hospitality business. That's job one to keep everyone safe. Florida is challenging the decision. Now, Norwegian is not the only business to take action in the wake of new legislation. Following the passage of a new abortion law in Texas, ride-hailing apps Uber and Lyft said drivers' legal fees would be covered if they were sued for driving a woman to an abortion clinic. There was a time when CEOs shied away from politics, but with society becoming more politically charged, companies are increasingly taking a stand on certain issues, especially when it impacts their employees and customers. Yep, when the businesses get involved, it seems to make changes. Seema, thanks very much.